So, Mr. Randy, um, what do you think about um, the supernatural claims of Maharishi? I actually believe that he thought he could levitate, but he just didn't do it because he didn't need to do it. it it's incredible that I would say something like that because I'm not naive in these respects, but I am knowledgeable enough about these people to know that they can convince themselves of their own holiness, their own divine sources, and uh, begin to believe their own stories. Because you look around you and you say, I've got this vast organization, this huge amount of income from thousands and thousands of people all over the world in different cultures and different languages. I guess I must be the real thing. Why are you battling this, this need for magic that people uh, apparently have? Well, I get this question frequently. They say, why are you destroying people's illusions? Because the illusions are only illusions. They don't work. There is no real solution in these things. They can coast on this a certain amount. It will support them to a certain degree, and then it collapses. Look, at, look around us, just here. I mean, we're just in a chosen spot here. Yes, it's very nice, beautiful trees. It's a real world. This is the real world here, the real earth underneath me. Now, there are bumps in it, old small imperfections in the road here. This garden needs a little bit of attending to. But we have to learn to get around these things. You too. <laughs> you have to learn to get around these things. You have to surmount the obstacles in your way. And magic will not do it. For example, I could reach over here and produce a small blue napkin, a crunched up paper napkin, and then place it away in my fist like that, <laughs> and then produce it from here again. You see, not too difficult to do. And I have another one here that looks exactly the same. You see? Now, when I take a balled up paper napkin like this and place it in my fist, I point to the fist as if it's there. It's actually here, you yeah. see. But I point there as if it's there, and then I move, now I've got it here, but I simply move behind the arm here and apparently produce it from the elbow. So it's just misdirection of the senses. There is no real magic. If you accept real magic, then you accept that the laws of the universe are not what they are. TM is dangerous in the same way that all these false beliefs, these uh, mythological beliefs can be. It, uh, it gives you a false sense of values. It doesn't uh, relate you to the real world that you have to handle every day. And because of that, it, it betrays you. Uh, it will, will work for a certain period of time, and it will always be refreshed in some way. Uh, there's always a claim that somebody has finally mastered levitation. And it's a trick. It's a simple gymnastic trick. But the TM people don't tell you that. They say that it's perfected now. It's always just been perfected. But remember that my foundation offers a million dollar prize to any of the TMers who say they can do it. And we have never had one application from a TMer, even though there are millions around the world, so we're told. Why has not one of these people come forward to say, I'll take the million dollars? I think I know the reason.